Hello. Hi, Facebook family, friends. How are you? I feel like a little askew in my chair. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just maybe just trying to get my bearings about me. My kids, two of my three kids are napping. Um, the third one, the preschooler is in preschool. I can't believe I'll have a kindergartner in August when he when he'll start kindergarten. It's insane. It's insane to think this is the fifth year of, of I mean, like I was pregnant five years ago. So it's insane to think about how far I've come. Hi, Holly. Hey, Mama. Hi, Jory. Friends are joining. I like having friends join in. So I wanted to talk to everybody today and I won't wait a whole while, whole while to get started because one of the monsters could wake up. I'm not even sure. Hopefully. I wore that baby out. He did not sleep this morning hardly at all. So, um, <clears throat> welcome friends. I'm glad you guys are here. Um, you two are both in my Akashic, oh three, Mandy's joining and she's also in my Akashic learning group. So it's amazing because you, you, all three of you who are on here right now already have the, the, the ability to access your Akashic records. Well, that's silly. Anybody who joins has the ability to access their Akashic records. That's what I heard. That's why I looked up because I was like, I got it. Yeah, that's silly. Anybody has the ability, but you have the tools that can teach you exactly how to do so and trust, trust um, that you're doing so. So this, this live streams a little bit about that Akasha group. You know, I don't go live unless I'm trying to, to promote some, some of my work. I mean, this is what I do. But I wanted to talk to you a little bit more as I, I got, I pulled the paper out um, that has my kids and my husband's soul group of origination and their, and their soul gifts. And I was just thinking about it the other day because I'm starting to do these family packages, these, these uh, soul profile reports for families so they can understand it because it's, it's really nice to know. Like, for example, here's one of the first ways that you can use the Akashic Records um, with, your, with your kids and with your mom life is knowing how to deep, more deeply um, and more soulfully connect with them. So you can do that by getting a reading from me. Um, they're on special right now. Uh, but like, for example, my oldest son, Cash, his soul gifts are divine love and divine compassion. So he's very, very heart centered. And the other day I was taking an Akashic shower. This is another way. Look, we're just going all over the place. Like I cannot stay on topic. I mean, I'm staying on topic, but there's a lot of branches to this tree. So the other day, I'll come back to that because we're talking about cash. He's divine love, divine compassion. So I'm feeling frustrated because my four and a half year old, even though I know he can get dressed by himself, he can, because when he really, really, really wants to, he'll even pick out his own clothes. They don't match, whatever. Um, and he'll get dressed all by himself. And he went through this phase, I think when he was like three, two and a half. God, I should have written this shit down because it all just went like blurry, but yeah, like, I think it was around three, not too much older than three, right around three. He went through this all by myself phase where he would get dressed all by himself. And it was so important for him to show people like grandma came to visit. And I was like, Oh, cash, go get dressed. Show grandma. You can do it all by yourself. And he would like, he was dressed, man. If we wore snowsuits, he would have had that on, you know, when we were in Northern California where you don't really need snowsuits. Um, unless you go to the, the mountains. So anyway, uh, it, then he went backwards <laughs> and he can't, can't get himself dressed to save his life. It, it's like a fight every single day, every single time we change, whether it's into pajamas or went into our clothes in the morning. Like it's, it, I just like have to do it for him. Like every, I have to pick out his clothes. Like I have to do it. I have to. And there's different parent tells you that, oh, that happens. That's just the way that the kids go back to connecting with your parents. But I was like, okay, that's fine. Generally, that's what the parenting book says. But I went in during my Akashic shower, which I go into the Akashic records every day when I take a shower, because usually I do that in the beginning part of my day. And it helps me just get my head on straight a little bit. And so... Um, it came to me that if I, and I was in the middle of also uh, feeling that, that sort of sense of incompleteness, here it comes. I knew I was going to talk about this someday. It's hard for me when people, I post things about being a mom. Okay. Like that Mother's Day poem. If you haven't read it, go read it. it it's great. Um, and I appreciate the goodness of the place in the, everybody's hearts when they say, oh, cherish these times, it goes so fast. Um, and I know they're coming from a different place where they have kids in their 20s or they have kids in their older kids 
who are different than little cute baby kids. Um, but it's very hard because I'm really trying to be present in my life and to cherish every single one of the grueling, long, monotonous moments of wiping butt and wiping face over and over times three. Um, my preschooler, we still haven't mastered wiping our own bum. We do poop in the toilet. <laughs> we do. But not the, not the other part. Um, and then the other two are in diapers. So it's like, that's hard. So I try, okay, I'm in my Akashic shower and I'm like, okay, how can I enjoy the moments where my kids just want to have their hands all over me? Like they want my hair. It's this weird, it's kind of like, it's very calming for my son to touch my hair, my oldest. And it's so sweet and endearing, but I am so touched out sometimes. Who else? Who, what other moms get this way? Hi, Jamie. Hey, good to have you connecting. I love it. I was just talking to Jamie on private messenger. She's getting one of her family is getting one of my soul, uh, uh, soul profile family reports. Say that five times fast. Hi, Amanda. Jamie says, yes, it's a crazy time. She, cause she's there with me. She's had three babies in diapers at one point and it's like insanity. I am very lucky that my oldest, um, he was, he's a, he did so well with potty training. So there's all these, I do appreciate it. And I want to sink myself more into the present moment. So in my Akashic shower, I'm like, okay, how can I, how can I sink more into the present moment? And I didn't even actually go in there trying to solve the frustration of my, my kid not getting dressed. See, all of this is linked together. I didn't, I didn't. But the Akashic Records know my frustrations, okay? My higher self, residing in the Akashic Records, that's the more proper way of saying it. My guides, my teachers, everybody, they hear my frustrations and they know it because I think it, I, I, oh, I'm overwhelmed with them sometimes, okay? Hi, Corey. It's good to see you. I'm doing a lunchtime live stream. I'm super excited. I'm actually excited for how many of my, my good friends are joining in. Um, and Corey's in my Akashic group as well. Uh, I just, I remember she and I had like a little, uh, uh, kind of almost intimate time during my live stream last August, which happened the day, like hours before my third baby was born. I didn't know he was going to be born that day. Um, and so like she was, she was on that live stream class that I taught. And I remember that one specifically. Uh, and I think of you a lot when I see you on Facebook and, and, uh, and just wherever, like I always see you on Facebook, that's where I see you, but whether it's in the group or whether you're doing your lives or whether it's in like a light workers, um, you know, Facebook group, I think of that. So anywho, the Akashic shower, the records, my guides, teachers, loved ones, they all said to me in this moment, it just like an epiphany. It hit me. This is how information comes to you in the, in, from the records. It was, okay, you spend more time cuddling with Cash. Not just sitting there and reading while you're nursing the baby and the other child's on this side and Cash is trying to cuddle on this side and your arms are nowhere around him, but literally cuddle him. Like his soul gifts are divine love and divine compassion. And these are two of, of all seven different ones that would love a cuddle. Like, you know, I would be surprised if his... Uh, one of his love languages, a strong love language, wasn't the love language of, of touch, you know? And I certainly, yeah, I, it's hard to see them when they're really young. You need to give kids all love languages. But this, this understanding more about his divine gift, I can say, okay, I need to just literally wrap my arms around this child more often, okay? Um, with, let's go on to it. Like, so that came to me, this, I use it for understanding the connection. And in my mind, in the Akashic shower, it was like doing this, will help you be present in the moment because that's what I originally went there. It will help you just sink into this part of motherhood because they're not always going to let you... Like, can you even imagine... I watched the sitcom, uh, The Goldbergs, and I can, and she's got teenage kids. And I can you even imagine um, a teenage mom trying to, like, sit and cuddle, full body cuddle their... their it doesn't... It's not going to happen, probably... <laughs> Um, maybe I'll give it a try. Um, so hi, Crystal. Hello, my dear. Um, I love that show, Jory. It's one of my favorite shows. So I just, I think of that mom and I, how she wants to like, just, she wants that connection with her children. And that's a really big part of it. That show, I didn't start watching it until I became a mom and it was like, boom, you need to watch the show. Um, and so that, definitely that came from the records too. So, um, <clears throat> So that was, that was yesterday morning in the shower, my Akashic shower, 10, 15 minutes in the shower. Thank goodness I get like some private shower time. 
Um, it's only because my whole family was sitting down to like eat and I like jumped in the shower. <laughs> I was like, see ya, I'll eat cold breakfast. Um, so that happened. But that, it solves, it helps me with connection, it helps me with problem solving. And you know what? It wrapped it up into one. It helped me form a connection and solve a problem. So it said to me, I heard last to wrap it up, is he'll be able to start doing things more independently. Like he'll start getting himself stressed. He'll finally learn how to put his socks on in a way that doesn't frustrate him or feel funny. You know how socks are. You get it on one wrong way and it feels funny all day long. So this, this is something that was really beneficial. It helps me with my parenting. Um, I can look over at my middle son, his soul gifts are divine creation and divine communication. And boy, oh boy, he is definitely expressing his communication. Um, let me see what Holly says. You just brought clarity to the places I go in my shower. Just didn't know the name of it. Yeah, it's the Akashic shower, yo. Uh-huh. Yeah, I don't, I think I made that up. Someday I will write like a whole book on the Akashic Records because I know I haven't gotten the Akashic Shower from any of my I, I glean a lot from other people, but I was just how I was thinking of a way and I get it because I would get a lot of inspiration in the shower I'm not the only one water is amazing for inspiration And if the shower is the only kind of flowing water you get to every day, you got to use it um, Crystal the book I read for the divine gifts that is the certification course I took which is called soul realignment so uh, you can Google soul realignment, uh, the creator of that certification. I'm a level two soul realignment practitioner certified. I'm just going to pat my back for spending some money. <laughs> um, <laughs> my guides constantly tell me, my dear, that I don't need any more certifications, that I can just do and heal and be like amazing on my own. But I will probably always continue to get more certifications. That's just that... That's how strong the ego is that says I need them, even though my guides tell me I don't. Um, yeah, water brings clarity. King's communication is Holly's favorite. Holly's an uh, in-person friend of mine, and she, uh, yeah, she's seen it. She knows. She knows. Um, so, yeah, soul realignment. So that's what it is. But if anybody's going to sign up for soul realignment, please contact me because I can give, like, if you sign up and then I get, like, a kickback, like, Anyway, I, I don't promote that very much because I don't really worry about kickbacks that much, but maybe I'd want to take one of her additional, like level three or five or ten or however many levels this woman has of certifications. So, um, so I can learn that, okay, in order for him, I was able to come to the conclusion. And also, I look at this bird's eye view and I learn that my husband's soul gifts are divine communication and divine creation. The exact same soul gifts that my middle child has. No, it was a chicken next door. I thought it was my kid, but it was a chicken. I was hearing something. Um, and, and you know what's so cute right now in their life? Um, it's so, so cute uh, that, that, that my husband and my middle child, they are like two peas in a pod right now. Like the middle one will get hurt. We'll, we'll both be someplace. Like we were on vacation, and so we were all, both at the park one day, but my husband was kind of like talking on the phone. You know, self-employed people, they can't really go on vacation. So he was like on the phone, like dealing with something while we were at the park, and King got hurt or fell down, like a mild injury. And um, it comes, I, I like bend down, and I'm like, oh, honey, with my arms. Oh, and he runs like right past me <laughs> to the dad that's like pacing in the background talking on the phone. I'm like, no worries. I'm good. It's okay. It's okay. So, but there's, there's a connection there. Those two are definitely meant to come together um, for a reason. And so I can, I can just toss the Henri King off to my husband. No, that's not the answer. <laughs> But what I'm saying, the answer is, is I can look at that and I can go, okay, there might be times when my son, my middle child is having a more intense reaction to it, an experience and my husband might be the best one for him. Like I can call him in and I can say, he needs you right now. And I have this understanding. There's other times I can try to be there, but maybe at, at this, this deep level of communication that makes sense. Okay. So these are things, these are tools that you can use. Um, and then I recently... I recently just went in, like yesterday, to Quest's Akashic Records and found out some of this information because I was waiting. You know, he's a baby, and you're like, I'll just let you be a baby for a minute without really, <laughs> like, dissecting who you are uh, at a soul level. But then I was like, okay, it's time. <clears throat> and so I found out that his soul gifts are 
divine wisdom and divine communication. So he is sure going to be able to tell me everything. He, he is going to be like the child that knows everything. I, I can already tell. <laughs> um, I, I know that, <laughs> I know that I've got, I, I'm hearing it right now cause that my Akashic records have kicked in. They're like, you have really got your, your work cut out for you, lady. And this is kind of how it is with, with people right now, with families right now, is since the shift away into, we, we went away from, um, let's see, what's, we're in the Aquarius age, we left the Piscean age or something, I like just got mixed up on the details, but I think that's where, it's the shift that happened in like 2012. And it really is becoming more pronounced with the children that are born after that point. Um, they're here and we're really here to, to explore what it's like, like to raise little light workers of the world. Little people that are even more connected and more conscious of their connection um, to different realms. Yeah, their names do fit them really well. Their names came, Cash is the only name we picked when he was still in my belly. Um, King, it was two. It was either King or Cherry, because we didn't know the gender of King until he was born. He's the only one with red hair, so even if he was a girl, Cherry would have been so cute, but not fitting whatsoever at all. Not at all with that personality that came out. Um, so we ended up being King, and then Quest, we knew the gender through the pregnancy, but didn't have a freaking idea of a name, because all I wanted was a little girl. So I was like, all about little girl names, and then all of a sudden I found out I was having a boy, my third boy. And then it was like about a couple days before, so, oh my gosh, I've already eaten up all sorts of battery. Okay, let me tell you one other way that you can use the Akashic Records, which this isn't like, okay, we don't ever want this experience to happen. Um, and so we had a really close call last week with King and a car backing out of a driveway. Very, extremely very close call. My husband had to drag him out from the moving car. He was on a tricycle just like being a toddler, not looking around, and neither were the idiots driving forgiveness and love gratitude for what happened and gratitude for what didn't happen I have to call all of that in because I'm a mama bear and I start to go crazy again but ever since then I've been getting like flash safety flashes like it's been on my mind because of an actual incident that happened and you know when you when you move away from the anger of a situation and it's been a few days it was like a week it's been a week now um when you move away from the anger of a situation, you open yourself up for the reason why that that happened. And this is, this happens a lot in our lives. Um, uh, that where, where we're so wrapped up into the, the situation and the anger or the intensity of the emotion that we can never move to the point of learning. Okay. So that was like a side note. I didn't even know that was going to come out. Um, but I've been seeing a lot more incidents of safety in my mind. And this is, this is any mom's intuition and her gut instinct is also the Akashic records, your guides, your teachers, your loved ones kicking in. But you could go, I, I actually said, I want to be shown. I did this in meditation because I didn't want to dream about it at night. Dreams at night can be scary when they're like warning dreams, something crazy happens to your kid. You have to decipher it from all the weird symbols and and, um, you know, meanings that dreams can carry. So I said in my meditation, I, I often daydream, you know, I just like my mind goes somewhere. And I said, I want to, I want to be made aware of safety concerns around my house because we live in this small little teeny community at the end of a dead end road where I feel like we're in this safe little bubble, like, uh, like that nothing could ever happen. But I was shown last week, actually shown that something can happen. It was really scary. Um, Hi, Emma. Let me catch up on some of these, um, <laughs> these, these, uh, comments before my battery dies. Cause I told you ways that we can use them and I don't, if my battery dies, that's where I went. So, uh, um, I read a couple books. I took a course called soul realignment by Andrea Hess. I know that question came up before and I didn't answer it at the time. Um, and then I read a bunch of books by Linda Howe. These are the two, the two, uh, living people that have been influential in my access and, and understanding of the Akashic Records. I've also been working with a lot of Ascended Masters and, and Archangels for a long period of time that I realize have been directing me here. And if you, if you have the interest in learning, there's a good chance you're working with those guys behind the scenes as well. Um, so yeah, Andrea Hess and it's, there's two R's in her first name and that's it. Cause that's a different way Andrea can be spelled. 
but you'll find it by Googling soul realignment if you were interested in learning more about that. Um, so you, you basically, for me, going into the records is not like this trance state. It's not a hypnosis. Um, it's pretty lucid, you know. I go into the records by saying a prayer or an invocation. Um, I'm okay calling it a prayer now. Like, <laughs> I've come, I've come away, away from religious praying to understanding spiritual praying. Um, and I gain access to the records. I verify that I've got the right soul I'm connecting with. If it's another person, that's how I, you know, connect with, with each of my children as I state their name and their birthday. Um, and you start asking questions. I use a pendulum to get a lot of my answers and I have a free pendulum training. If anybody wants to learn how to use a pendulum, just comment below and I'll drop you a link for my free pendulum training. Um... So I've got, I, you You just, you go in there and the best thing I can do is encourage you on books to read um, or you can join my Akashic Learning Group because I teach you all of this like firsthand in there's classes that you can watch. You don't have to read all the books word for word. You can just watch my classes, which is pretty easy to do in comparison to reading all the time. Um, and you go with it. You don't have to be able to um, necessarily be super psychic ahead of time. You just have to be willing to trust your intuition, your gut instincts. The more we go through life and the more we have circumstances that arise where we do trust ourselves and it's confirmation that we can't, that we are trustworthy. Um, that's, that's the best way to go about gaining information from the Akashic records. Hi Kyra. Kyra's in my group as well. So Emma, I'll get you information on the group, just so everybody knows who's watching. It's $99 to join the group. It's on sale for me. I never put it on sale. Um, normally it's $111 to join. It's only one time. You guys get access to like 15 different classes weekly or every 10 days or so. I go live to, to chit chat and give you advice and maybe do some cards if that's available. Um, let me see. Uh, who else? Petra, hi. I miss you. It's good to see you. Hello, beautiful. What did you say here? Um, human, humans go, human go crazy. Yes. Oh, thank you. Um, all these people, Emma, I'm so glad that you joined in. So yeah, okay. I want to make sure I didn't miss any, um, any comments. Yeah, I told you Andrea Hess, and you actually typed it. You had it right there. Okay, so, all right, I'm all caught up. So, anywho, let's let's kind of, like, sum this all up. The Akashic Records are good. They can give you information that you don't even know you need to know. I don't know. Where would I be without the Akashic Records? <sighs> I'd still be searching completely for my my purpose. It was so nice that I heard about the Akashic Records when... When I did, when I really started shifting my life and, and, and moving into the family um, side of my being, you know, I wish I wish I had learned about them a little bit earlier. It would have been nice um, to be able to have some of this guidance as far as some of the problems that arose in my life because it's not all parenting directed. Sometimes I'm in, the, I'm in my Akashic shower and I get helpful information for my health. For something that's going to be good for me, um, it was it was during my Akashic showers last year, just a little over a year ago, that really prompted me to start going to the gym again. Like I get pregnant and I get morning sickness, and I just am like, like I don't want to work out. I do not want to work out. And then you know how when you don't work out for like six weeks or even eight weeks, if you're dealing with kids and morning sickness, you just don't ever want to work out. Like you're done. <laughs> so it was that, it was that time. It was like your mental health, you're going to need to resume some sort of like period of alone time. And so listening to that helped me understand what I really needed to do to take care of my mental health, to take care of the times that I would need to just disconnect from everything at home and go be somewhere else. Sometimes all I did was sit at the gym and, and, and read a book, like sit outside, enjoy the sound of the pool. It didn't really matter. It was, it was just, how can I help myself? How can I bring a better connection for myself and for my family and for the people around me? So I don't know if you have any questions on the Akashic Records, reach out. If you do want to get one of the uh, soul family profile reports, say that five times fast again, reach out. It's a great time to get them because they're on a really great deal right now. They're three, three individuals for $111. And this is a typed up report, but because I talk a lot like this, 
um, I'll probably send you a little mini video of it as well um, because there's some things that I'm not sure how I'll be able to type up and really get out in a succinct way. Um, but there's other things like your divine gifts, how many lifetimes you were together, um, what sort of uh, a family dynamic were those lifetimes, like were you siblings, were you married? Sometimes we actually um, are formerly in relationships, like the previous lifetime we're in a relationship with somebody that we gave birth to in this lifetime. So this is a really interesting dynamic to, to get over. Um, and it's interesting to find out. I'll tell you one thing, that is the case with me and one of my children. And I think that's why, that's why, I, and that's my middle child. Because in a previous, it wasn't the most recent last one, but it was one of the previous ones. We actually were, were, were husband and wife. And so when you give birth to somebody that you were married to, this is a very different dynamic. They really don't want to listen to you at all. So this is what, this is what I'm dealing with, with my middle child. We will see how that goes as he grows, but granted, you, you know I'm going to be jumping into the Akashic Records to learn more about the dynamics when my kids are teenagers, when my kids are having their own families. Um, my kids will probably even learn how to do it themselves too. So, anywho, let me know. Uh, normally, uh, let's see, normally that would be two for, see it's three for $111. Normally it would be two for $111. And then any additional children, because I, I know it gets expensive when you think about, oh, I've got a family of five. So I give you a really good deal on each additional. After three for 111, it's only $22 a person. Um, so you can add on your other family members, uh, your other children, if you want to find out more. So anyhow, let me know if I can support any of you in this learning and this understanding at a more deeper level about you and your soul family. And we will talk again soon.